to see uh, Assistant Secretary of State for uh, the President has made very clear this is a priority for him. The leadership has made very clear it's a priority for them, uh, the Democrats as well as Republicans. Remember the votes that we've seen in our legislature in the House and then in the Senate committee have been extremely strong. There's been a very solid support uh, for the specific legislation. But there's also enormous support for the U.S.-India relationship. It goes across both parties. And so uh, I expect that support will continue, and that support, they will manifest it in their terms of their scheduling and their votes. Now, what actually are the real chances of the bill uh, relating to... On the situation in Sri Lanka, I think uh, we have growing concern, and indeed, that was one of the topics of my discussion today with the Indian government. Um, I think there's news this morning of the killing of one of the Tamil politicians. Um, and that's, that's another horrible act. It's a really deplorable. Um, we have strongly condemned the attack on the displaced persons, the artillery fire that killed them. Um, it's very, very important for both sides to respect the ceasefire. Uh, it's very important for both sides to understand they're not gaining anything militarily. They're losing ground in terms of their political standing and that both sides need to understand the only way to achieve what they want is through a negotiation. In the situation in Sri Lanka, we've had this latest incident in which uh, some civil... Many of the links um, that have been talked about, that have been seen, um, do go back to groups that have origins and ties into Pakistan. But some of these groups, all these groups really, have been banned and outlawed in Pakistan as well. So we all need to work more together, and we all need to work more against terrorism and to try to make our actions effective so that people in India don't suffer from these blasts, so that you know, Americans in these region and elsewhere don't suffer from the attacks of the Taliban or other extremist groups, um, to make sure this region is, no, is not a source of terrorism. And uh, that's something that I think we all need to be committed to. So. We welcome the direct discussions between India and Pakistan on a whole host of issues.